In this video trade, we're gonna look at a daily pin bar trading strategy. Stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. All right, so daily pin bar trading strategy. What is it? How can we use it? And more importantly, this is not necessarily a standalone strategy, but something that can add weight to an existing setup or strategy that you've got. So before we move on, let's just define what a pin bar is. Now, somebody told me that pin bar is short for a Pinocchio bar. Mm, not so sure myself, but who knows? Who cares? The point is, does it make sense to you? It makes sense to me from a price action perspective because let's just dissect it down in a second. So pin bar generally means that you've got a long wick or a long tail. Now, the important thing is the wick is, should be twice the size of the body and it should be above or below price action. So in other words, it should be above resistance, should be below support. So you should have that wick below support that comes back up, that wick below, oh sorry, above resistance that comes back down or above a level or above a channel or above a prior day's high or something. Because the important thing is guys, is that we understand what it really means. And if you think about this from a daily perspective, this was a daily chart, it would basically mean it looks like this. Let's say that's our key level here. Market comes up, trades above it, everyone's happy, and then all of a sudden it comes back and trades down there and maybe even lower. And so you'd get that kind of shape. So it's an intraday change in sentiment above a key level. We've looked above the key level, I know sellers are coming and hit it straight back. That's what's important, not the fact that it's called or whatever bar it's called. Uh, that's, that's what's important because it makes sense from a supply demand perspective. Lots of demand coming in, switches to supply, closing back under. Good trigger to take the trade. Good, good trigger. I've talked about triggers before. Okay, so a uh, couple of examples here of when we could use it and maybe let's do one where we wouldn't want to use it. So look at uh, number one here. Let's just do it so we know the difference between the two. Number one, okay, so we've got a kind of chugging up trend here. Candles are moving up, steady up trend. Um, and let's say now that we have a decent level of resistance from a couple of weeks ago or whatever. Maybe that's a, a range high or whatever it may be. And we get this move up through the resistance, comes back down and closes below. This would be a good pin bar type trade. And we'll talk about how we'll deal, what trade we'll take from that in a second. But that would be a valid pin bar because it's above a key level. Even if we didn't have that resistance there, it's above the high and it's reverse. The wick is twice the body, check, check. Similarly, let's look at this one here. So we're in a range, let's just draw this range on. So we're in this range now here. Price has been trading in a range. That would be a, a correct pin bar as well. The wick is twice, or the tail is twice the size of the body. Same to the upside, twice the size of the body. And it's moving through a fresh level. So it's either moving to a fresh level or it's moving through support or moving through resistance. So that gets ticked in the box and that gets ticked in the box. Okay, so once we see them, we know what they are, once we see, um, we know how to spot them. Once we see them, what do we do? Well, these are good reversal trading patterns. If you're getting pin bars at key levels, not only is a key level a good time to trade counter trend, to look for a reversal, to look for an end of a trend or a pullback or some kind of unwinding, relaxing or complete reversal, the pin bar gives you added weight to that because it's basically saying, hey, we've looked underneath that support. We didn't like what we see. We've pushed back up. We've tested levels. The auction process has tested a fresh level, hasn't liked it, and has come back. And so that's given us extra weight to say, yeah, you know what? The support is good anyway. And we've got this additional confirmation from the pin bar. This might be something that we want to pull the trigger on. And the final thing, guys, is that the very nice thing about pin bars is that we can frame the trade uh, in terms of our stop loss because the obvious place for our stop loss, where would be the obvious place for our stop loss if we're going short on this for a pullback or if we're going short on that? You got it. It would be above this high here because we'd be taking it on the close here and that would be our stop. So we can frame the trade quite nicely. Whereas sometimes when we're, let's say we're selling at resistance here, sometimes it's difficult to know where the stop's going to be. We might use an ATR, we might use a fixed stop, we might use this. But sometimes the market's starting to creep up. It becomes difficult to judge where that should be. Pin bar type thing, you've already got your level. You know that at the end of the day, if it breaches that level, the trade's negated, the thesis is wrong. It's not a pin bar. Yes, well, that is a pin bar, but it's not a reversal. It's not gonna happen. So you can quantify your risk, which is nice, and they stand out quite nicely. So 
Keep an eye out for those guys in your favorite markets. Have a look for the wick to be twice the size of the body or wick or tail to be twice the size of the body. And the most important thing is that it's poking its head into fresh territory. That's the key. Because if we had a pin bar, let's say we had this here, let's say we had a long wick here, Whilst that's quite interesting, and there could be something from that, an intraday reversal anywhere is super interesting for me, it's not as exciting as coming to fresh territory, because that's what, that's a one, two, three, four, into the five days worth of range. No one's really that bothered about that. No one's that excited about it. Whereas here, a little bit more exciting, a little bit more interesting. So yes, that could be a pin bar, but not technically. It's that fresh territory, the fresh territory uh, to the upside or downside that we're interested in, whether we're in a trend or we're in a range. All right, guys, daily par, daily pin bar trading strategy. See you next one. Take care. Keep the risk managed. Bye-bye.